Welcome to this video-based ritual of repentance and renewal for Ash Wednesday, presented by the South Sound United Methodist Cooperative. To fully participate in this devotional time, we invite you to gather a candle and a means to light it, a bowl with some sand or dirt in it, and a small bowl or pitcher of water. Please pause this video to gather these items now. The service will begin shortly. And then restart the video when you have gathered your candle, bowl of dirt, and small container of water. Ash Wednesday is a time of naming brokenness and reclaiming beauty. We are imperfect followers of Jesus, but we are the body of Christ. On Ash Wednesday, we remember our brokenness and give thanks for God's promise. God is with us in our weariness as we carry our burdens. Surely God has been with us through these long months of the pandemic through all of the changes and challenges we have encountered. We acknowledge our brokenness as part of the brokenness of the world in which we live. We confess our own sinfulness. We join together in our humanity, in our sadness, confessing that we have not lived and loved as we ought. We unite in our hope that with God, even in brokenness, there is beauty, and even in loss, there is life, and even for sinners, there is salvation. Please read aloud this acknowledgement of your own brokenness and your own beauty. I am broken glass. I am worn down by the waves and tides, polished by the grit of the rocks and sands of life. I am tossed about through a long night, seemingly forgotten and lost, but I am found once more. I glimmer on the beach in the light of the rising sun. I have a beauty born of life itself, I am broken glass. Hear these words from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, God, according to your faithful love. Wipe away my wrongdoings according to your great compassion. Wash me completely clean of my guilt. Purify me from my sin because I know my wrongdoings. My sin is always right in front of me. I've sinned against you, you alone. I've committed evil in your sight. That's why you are justified when you render your verdict, completely correct when you issue your judgment. Let me hear joy and celebration again. Let the bones you crushed rejoice once more. Hide your face from my sins. Wipe away all my guilty deeds. Create a clean heart for me, God. Put a new, faithful spirit deep inside me. Please don't throw me out of your presence. Please don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Return the joy of your salvation to me and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach wrongdoers your ways and sinners will come back to you. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take 
Let us pray. Merciful God, sometimes it seems as though we have lived an entire year of Lent. Troubles abound. Confusion reigns. Truth is questioned and ignored by many. The evils of racism have been exposed. The creation cries out as we deplete resources and pollute our air and water and land and raise the temperature around the globe. Homelessness abounds. Violence is common everywhere. Tribalism rejects the assertion of universal love. And around the world, well over two million have died from the coronavirus. In the United States, we are approaching 500,000 dead. Yes, we have seen love shine through at times through these days. But as we look back in this moment of repentance, it too often feels like a year of shattered dreams, of broken peace, and of lost hope. We are discouraged. Sadly, we see the ways our own faults and failures have contributed to the world's brokenness. We have failed to love each other fully. We have failed to care for the least among us. We have failed to honor your creation. We have failed to stand for what is right and good. So today, we come to you in broken pieces, fragments of what we ought to be, shattered shells of all we hope to be. Help us, God. Restore us to wholeness. Show us your better way. Send us forth to live righteous and faithful lives. In this silence, we come to you and yearn for wholeness. I am broken glass. I am worn down by the waves and tides, polished by the grit of the rocks and sands of life. I am tossed about through a long night, seemingly forgotten and lost, but I am found once more. I glimmer on the beach in the light of the rising sun. I have a beauty born of life itself. I am broken glass. An unknown author has said this about the glass fragments that are found on the beaches around the world. Ordinary pieces of tableware or beer or soda bottles are flung into the ocean. Years pass or decades and then one day there it is upon the shore, a small shard from one of those long ago discarded objects. Shifting currents have rounded its edges. Abrasion has polished its surface. Exposure to the sun has altered its hue. And so, when we happen upon it, here amidst the shells and seaweed, we can't help but laugh with joy at what seems a miracle. This ordinary fragment of silica that time and adversity have transformed into something beautiful. God uses our time and God works through our adversity to make something beautiful out of us. We who feel broken and discarded, we who come to God repentant and confessing our need are transformed by God's grace into something beautiful. You are beloved of God. Hear the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. God weeps at love withheld, at strength misused, at children's innocence abused. 
And till we change the way we love God, we God bleeds at anger's fist, at trust betrayed, at women battered and afraid, until we change the way we win, God bleeds. God cries at hungry mouths, at running souls, at creatures dying without until we change the way we can, God cries. This gospel reading comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. On Ash Wednesday, we traditionally use the burnt ashes of last year's palms as a ritual symbol of our repentance and God's assurance. Remember you are dust, we say. Remember you are beloved, we hear. This year, aware of the fragility of life because of the virus that keeps us physically apart, we cannot share ashes in the ways we have become accustomed. Instead, we offer this ritual that draws us close to the elements of creation, earth, fire, air, and water. Let this ritual remind us that we are part of creation in all its beauty and its brokenness. We, broken by sin, restored by grace. You have gathered a bowl of sand or dirt, a symbol of the days of creation when God created all that is. Slowly ground down from the hardness of rock, eroded from the sides of mountains over thousands and millions of years, the dirt is a witness to the brokenness of the earth and all that springs forth from it. All things are broken. All things are transformed. Touch the dirt you have with you in this moment. Feel its grains, feel its brokenness, and pray. Holy Creator God, as we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember that we ourselves were made from the dust of the earth. To experience brokenness is the way of creation. It is not something to be ashamed of or to deny. It is the order of things. We are broken. Transform us, O oh God. Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. 
You have a candle before you. Light it now. Put hand close and feel the heat of the flame. All fire is refining fire. The heat of fire can be so destructive, but with intention and care and tending, fire can transform all that it touches. It can bend metal, warm our homes, give light in the darkness. Fire can dance over the heads of the weary disciples and bring new birth to a church. Fire enlivens our passions for justice. Consider the light of your candle. Gaze upon the flickering flame and pray. Fire of the Spirit, as we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember that you invite us to fuel the flames of love for you and for each other. Do not allow the flames of our spirits to lie dormant. Draw us anew into your light, Holy One. Refine us, O God. Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. God breathed into us the breath of life. Like a master craftsman blowing glass, adding air to molten sand, we are shaped by God's breath. Air, breath, and spirit are the same ancient words. So like a newborn baby, a first breath, breathe now the air that sustains us. Deeply draw in that breath and release it slowly and marvel at the gift of life itself. God's spirit is in the air. God's spirit is in you. Close your eyes and become aware of your breath as we pray. Give her a breath in life. As we breathe out, may we let go of that which we do not need and let us make room to breathe in the spirit that transforms us. Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. There is water before you. Water is life sustaining. It is cleansing. It is a reminder of our baptism. Please mix a little water with the dirt or sand that you have with you and create a wet mixture. With your finger, mix the elements into a muddy paste. Ancient peoples made wet soil into healing balms or decorative body paint, anointing one another, marking one another as family, connecting one another to each other and to God. Remember, broken but beloved one, even though baptized, we are still broken. With your fingertip, take some of the mud before you and mark your hand or your forehead with a cross and pray. Healing presence. As we feel these elemental parts of who we are, we remember you created us, shaped us from dust into the palm of your hand. We know that someday we will return to dust, return to the palm of your hand once again, to be held and loved forever in your eternity. We lament in this moment the grittiness of life, the need for healing, and the difficult but necessary process of transformation. Mark us as your own. Remold us again as your people. Reclaim us as children of God. By this sign, help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. And all the people said, Amen. I am broken glass. I am worn down by the waves and tides, polished by the grit of the rocks and sands of life. I am tossed about through a long night, seemingly forgotten and lost, but I am found once more. I glimmer on the beach in the light of the rising sun. I have a beauty born of life itself. I am broken glass. Now, go with confidence that though broken, even shattered, we are held by the God who creates, redeems, and restores. 
though the hard times in which we live continue. Hold on to hope and remember joy. In the name of Christ Jesus, you are forgiven. In the grace of God, you are loved. May these days of Lent be a journey of rediscovering the depth of the love that is within you and flows through and from an infinite source of love. May the words of Jesus ring in your ears. I will give you rest. And may the Spirit of God hover over you, gently move you, and always bring to your mind the promise of healing and hope in and through all things. Amen.